Let's say we have the line segment AC. The distance between the endpoints of AC is denoted by AC. If B is a point on AC, then the distance AC is AB plus BC. Let's say the distance BC equals 2 cm. And the distance AC is 7 cm. How do we find the distance AB? The best way to solve these kinds of problems is to make a quick sketch, which we already did. So this is AC, which is 7, and this is BC, which is 2. We have to find the distance AB. So we write the equation for the distances between the points on the line segment, which is AC equals AB plus BC. Now we plug in what we have, which is AC equals 7 and BC equals 2. And after subtracting 2 from both sides, we get 5 equals AB. So the distance AB is 5 centimeters. And we are done with this problem. Let's look at lines in a plane which can be intersecting or parallel. Intersecting lines cross at a point in the plane. And parallel lines never cross. The distance between parallel lines is always constant. And the symbol means is parallel to. So let's say we have the points A and B on this line which we also can call line P. And let's say we have the points C and D on the other line, which we call line Q. Then P is parallel to Q and AB is parallel to CD. Notice that the line segment AB and the line segment CD are also parallel. Parallel lines contain parallel line segments. What is an angle, a vertex and the side of an angle? An angle is formed by two rays with the same endpoint. The vertex of the angle is the point at which the two rays meet. The rays are called the sides of the angle. Let's say A and C Our points on the rays R1 and R2 and B is the vertex, then the angle is called angle B 
or angle ABC. This is the symbol for angle. Notice that the angle is named by the vertex or the vertex is the second point listed when the angle is named by giving three points. So angle ABC could also be called angle CBA. An angle can also be named by a variable written between the rays close to the vertex. So in this example, angle X equals angle ABD and angle Y equals angle CBD. In this example, more than two rays meet at B. So in this case, the vertex cannot be used to name an angle, like in this previous example. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.